uh, is a miss. 11 versus armor class. The the quantum roll does not lie. So RN Jesus was not in uh, the zombies corner for that round. It's showing us pity tonight. It is. All right. So now that's the end of a round. So we're back up to the top of the round and the skeletons are now going to continue to attack. Uh, They're going to continue to attack the paladin. So you have a plus, is it plus two to armor class or all defenses, Cal? Plus two to all defenses. Okay, sounds good. So the first skeleton, which is back up, this guy right here, uh, he does attack. He is thrusting forward with his, with his uh, long sword. Hey, well, he, first off, I'm going to use a minor to sustain uh, the mark on you. And now I will go ahead and do my attack. Uh, he said thrust. And that's a 27 versus AC, which is a hit. That's a hit. Uh, ooh, you take another 13 damage. Rolled max again. So I guess that takes you down below, bloodied again. Yes. Okay. That's like, what, the fourth time you've been bloodied now this fight? Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Alright, so that skeleton is done. Next up is the skeleton directly beside it. Uh, it is also going to attack you. And that is a 22 versus armor class, which I think that might be a miss because of the bonus. That's that's actually a hit. Is it? Oh, okay. Yeah, I've got a 21 with the bonus. Alright, so you take an additional 10 damage from that attack from the skeleton. Alright. Uh, I will also go ahead and not do anything else for him. Alright, so now I have <clears throat> this, the uh, the goblin here, which is on fire. He's stopped dropping and rolling. Uh, he basically just uh, scoots back one, st uh, one square. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Alright, so Eamon, you are safe. Uh, Kadojo, you are being attacked. Uh, he's not very friendly uh, to you casting all of that fire back here and raining on his parade. So you are being hit with a 25 versus armor class with a uh, hit bow bolt. Uh, you take max damage at 15. Are you okay? Or That bloodied me, barely though. Okay, you are bloodied. Okay. He is done with his turn. Uh, he is not taking the five damage from the fire because he did sidestep it. All right, you this skeleton cannot do anything. He's done. Uh, he's just waiting to die. Uh, Caladrin, you're up now. Mr. Greenhit, thank you very much okay. for the follow, sir. Yeah. Uh -huh. Mr. Greenhit, thank I you for the follow. Going to Welcome to the community. Do a strike of hope on this one right here. Okay. They're attacking the wrong targets. All right. So a ten versus armor class. Ten versus armor class. Yeah. The the skeleton takes your your attack away from your sword and just basically pushes your weapon to the side and does a crypt keeper type of cackle laugh. <laughs> Alright, anything else for you there, Cal? Or is that it? Yeah, I'm gonna pull a uh, a uh, healing potion out of my belt and ready it to use. Okay. Next up is uh, rounds. So what did, did you, you take as your take skill? That round? You can do a standard and two minors, right? No, you can do a stand. Uh, yeah, you can do a standard and uh, a minor, and a minor. So, so I I could actually drink the healing potion then. Uh, you did a attack, which missed. You pulled a potion out. So yeah, you still have a, uh, you still have one left. You had a minor left to quaff. Then I'm gonna definitely drink that potion. Okay, and it does not take an attack of opportunity. So that's what I really like about drinking potions in fourth edition. So. And does that take you back above bloodied, or are you still bloodied? No, I'm still bloodied. Hey, oy vey. Okay. So, Rons, you took what, healing word? 
Um, oh. no, I took Resurgent Strength. Okay. Um, I have got a question. Uh, I would have rather I had two somehow heals. Somehow, grab that a was hold just of me. Morgath and pull him behind me or something. Uh. Without him taking an opportunity attack. Uh, well, no, he he would definitely take an attack of opportunity because he's leaving the adjacent square. And in fact, he would take two opportunity attacks, and he would take three. But there's a wall in his way, causing the third one not to uh, to do anything. So he would take two attacks of opportunity. All right. <sighs> yeah, Bach well, moving really up like last week. Uh, that was steps. definitely not a uh, definitely not the the best thing to do. I will load my crossbow and fire at the one in front of Morgath again. Okay. That would be a good thing. 21 degree damage. Uh, this skeleton crumbles into a pile of bones. It okay. is dead. And I will use my resurgence strength uh, as my second miner on Caladrin. You gain... A healing, you spend the healing surge and you get plus four to damage until the end of my next turn. All right. So let's go ahead and put the swords up there for a damage bonus until the end of rounds next turn. Yes. Okay. All right. So now you're back over bloodied, right, Cal? That's correct. All right. Whew. I'm trying to keep you up. <laughs> you guys keep going bloody. Get out of there. Not bloody. Bloody, not bloody. Yeah, that was a. Uh, mm. All right, so now we have uh, a couple more goblins in the back. Uh, this oh, goblin say, here. That better be a lot of gold sitting underneath that white little dragon. <laughs> well, hey, you guys owe him half of everything. Remember, you guys made a deal with him. Or are you going to renege on that deal? We don't know. Or are you going to survive this encounter? We don't even know. All right, so the goblin up here uh, in the middle, this is the current target on the turn order, and it is going to attack the cleric. And Rons, you get pelted with a 24 User versus armor class, down. so you get basically get shot right in the gut with an arrow. And you take a total of seven damage from the barbed arrow. Okay. Uh, I also have moved. Uh, I am done with uh, the goblin for this attack. Uh, I am up to the bugbear now, which I use my movement action to stand up. So I am no longer prone. Uh, I will move up two squares, which will actually cost me uh, three because of the rough terrain because of the table is on the ground, so he's stepping on that, crunching all the vials, and smoke is starting to uh, come up a little bit. That's it for the bugbear. Uh, so he is a medium creature. He is not large, and that's it for him. Can the, chemo can the chemicals combine to create an explosion? I don't know. It might, it might not. It's things that I always think of. So now we have another goblin uh, this bloody goblin here, he's staggering a little bit. He's trying to, it looks like he's bobbing and weaving back and forth. It doesn't look like he's too steady. He does fire one last arrow, and the target will be Jerumroll. Uh, the target will be Amon Isis. Six, seven, eight, nine. Long shot. Yep, it's nine squares, so it is uh, within range. And you feel a small gust of wind zoom right past your ear as an arrow zings right by you with a 13 versus armor class. <clears throat> and then this uh, goblin staggers, catches on fire, and dies. <sighs> he never moved out of the fire. He just couldn't do it. He was uh, at one hit point, and in bad shape. All right. So next up is Amon. I think his team's feet dro dropped out, Dave. Oh, did it? 
Yeah, let's yeah. we'll give him a second. No problem at all. Kevor, you can go ahead and go. Okay. Um as a I have do I have two minor actions or just one? You have three if you want three. <laughs> um, User joined your channel. Oh, is that Eamon? Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, go ahead and happened. let him go. Okay. Thanks for uh sorry about that, Kadojo. Yeah. I almost thought I was gonna have to have the closer do some overtime, Eamon. No, I would have just uh I'm it's my turn. Alright, well I'm gonna it go is. after that um I'm gonna go after the abomination again. Twenty-six versus uh, armor class is definitely a hit. Holy shit! Seventeen damage. Yeah, you definitely took a big chunk of life. He's definitely well within the bloodied. Nice. You hit him directly in the same spot where the last arrow landed in the center of his chest. You basically split the arrow, and now he's he's a uh, he's starting to huff and puff. And he's breathing, and, and uh, like a necrotic type of bile is starting to drip off of his fangs. He's pissed off. And and with my, uh, as I'm giving him the bird, taking my middle finger, and I'm kind of waving it, like like wiggling it, like, come on, bro. All of a sudden, a chandelier falls from the ceiling, poof, falling on top of Amon <laughs> the green The green snake drops out the ceiling. Right. All right, so we're back up to Kevward. Well, we're down to Kevward. Sorry about that. Okay, I'm gonna do minor action. Take out potion. Well, can't you do two minors in a standard? You can do uh, two minors. Yeah, you could do. Okay. Two I'm movements. You can do whatever you want. Take out a minor potion, and my second minor. I'm gonna try and put it on the belt or put it in the patch of the paladin in front of me. If I can do that. Uh, I will let you for your entire round, I will allow you to take a potion out and give it to him and let him know. And that will be your entire round. Yeah. Okay. I'll just do that. Okay. I think you that... can administer it to somebody for a standard. You can do that as well. So I mean, it oh, just depends okay. on on I what you want to do. So you can have him tilt his head back with his his dragonborn locks Seven flowing minutes. in the air. No, don't you dare, Dave! Oh. Don't you freaking dare! <laughs> as the as the Spanish mariachi band starts to play music Cat in the background, That's casting arc lightning on the skeleton in abomination. Okay, so you're not going to give him the potion. You are going no. to no cat. Okay. All right, so on the skeleton in front of him and the abomination. Gotcha. Next time you say you're going to do something, that's what you're doing. Okay. You guys got to got to stop changing. Stop changing. That's your uh, get-out-of-jail-free card tonight. Thank you. I'll be here all evening. Yeah. Rounds is out of healing surges, huh? No, I was actually trying to type the get-out-of-jail. Oh, okay. That he was out. Oh. Uh, so you no, hit the... I still have one. I still have one. Oh, okay. You hit the so. skeleton in front of you. Go ahead and do the next roll real quick. You also hit the zombie. Very nice. Mr. Clutch, go ahead and give me one damage roll. That will take full damage. Not too like bad. Eight. eight damage. Oh yeah, all eight. All right. The lightning arc kind of uh, well, it definitely does a lot of damage to both of these guys, the zombie and the the abomination and and the skeleton. A couple more ribs fall off of the skeleton. Uh, he's starting to look pretty bare boned. <laughs> Sorry about that. That was a bad pun. Yeah. Womp womp. Plus one to all our morale. Next up is uh, more gas. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and slug that uh, healing potion that I had in my hand. All right, that's a minor. So go ahead Down and add a surge. Deduct your surge as well. You should be getting pretty low on surges. No, you're doing okay. Uh, so uh, 
And then, as a free action, I'm gonna yell, YOLO, bitches! And then, this big sucker right back here, <laughs> I'm gonna pop him with an Eldritch Bolt. Okay. So, uh, alright. <laughs> alright, Eldritch Bolt is a is a ranged attack. So you're going to be taking two attacks of opportunity. One from the skeleton, directly adjacent from you, and the zombie itself, well, because it has a two reach. So go ahead and uh, I'm going to do my attacks first uh, from the skeleton. Uh, that is a crit. You take 13, uh, 15 damage, I'm sorry, from the crit. Oh my god. Or is it... Hold on, let me, let me double check. Uh, I'm sorry, it is 13 damage from the skeleton. And now the... Uh, actually, what did he roll? What did he... What was it? Because, you know, I got plus two to all my defenses, so... A uh, crit is an automatic crit. I rolled oh, okay. a natural 20. Oh, okay. All right. And now the, the zombie... Wow, if I if I crit on this, he's he's dead probably. Sorry, my brain blocked out the whole crit part. <laughs> That's alright. Take a break, man. Uh twenty two versus armor class from the from the zombie. Yeah, I believe that's a hit. Damn it. Alright. Two D twelve plus seven. Oh my god. Damn you! Alright, the the zombie smashes you for twenty six. With a zombie smash. Really? I'm dead. I'm not joking. Uh, he did. Huh. It's a 2d12 plus 7. I rolled a 9 and a 10 for almost max damage. Huh. That, was, that was quick. Okay, I'm dead. All right. Well, you're not dead. You are unconscious. <laughs> so you you go down. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's just put the, the red X on you <sighs> to signify that you're down. All right. And you're at what? You're at negative 13? All right. So, what is your bloodied value, by the way? Like negative. So, well, see, here's the thing. He's seven. still level one. So right. you're you're at negative thirteen, yeah. and you can only go to negative fourteen, and you die. So if you take one more point of damage, you die. That's just the way yeah. it is. And uh, all right, because he he never leveled up the character in two weeks. So yeah. there you go. You're at negative thirteen. <laughs> Is what it is. Yeah, and uh, you never get your you never get your bolt off. You guys see that uh, more gas is starting to uh, looks like a a bolt of eldritch power is fixing to shoot out of a sword. The two creatures attack him, and more gas just falls directly flat on his face. He is unconscious, and he doesn't look to be breathing very well. And he is also gurgling blood, and blood is coming out of his ears and eyes as well. So, all right. So next up is the zombie, and the zombie is going to attack the paladin, and that you have plus two to defenses. I just rolled a crit. Uh, you take a total of. 30, 31 damage. Oh boy. <clears throat> I'm at yeah. minus six. I'm down. No, oh, all right. Stop it. <laughs> You're at minus six. Cannot believe I just rolled a crit on that. All right, so the zombie is done with his round. Uh, the next skeleton is moving up one. Uh, I will also move up one more, uh, trouncing on Morgas's corpse on the ground. I thought you couldn't do that, though. What do you mean I can't do you it? You went through a wall. I didn't go oh, through no. a wall. Oh, no, never mind. He didn't, he didn't go through a wall. I went one, I two, you three, walk, four. I thought you couldn't end your turn on a... You guys do all the time. I allow you guys to do it. It costs, it costs double movement. Mm -hmm. Correct. It costs double movement. I didn't know that. 
as long as as long as a, a corpse is down and unconscious, sure, you can be in the in the same square. But it, it, you know, now if more gas was up, he could he couldn't do it. Wow. So now we have two players down, three left, and five targets still remaining. Oh my goodness! And a bugbear. All right. I'm going to go ahead and attack the cleric. Uh, that is a 14, which is a miss. Uh, I am going to go ahead and... I'm going to buy you guys with my points. I'm going to buy you guys uh, one power of your choice as well. And... Uh, uh, I will also deduct 350 EXP from from my account. So this is the first time I've ever used my points. So I will also allow you guys to have one power of each. And that, that includes the unconscious ones as well. Alright. Uh, let's see, that is it for him. Next goblin, uh, dumb goblin, is going to run up. Takes five fire damage. Yep. Uh, he will charge. He will take a, a prone. Stupid goblin. That's him. Uh, I will take five damage for him as well. They've seen several of the, the enemies go down, so it looks like they're starting to close in for the kill. And the last goblin as well, he says, screw you, dude, I'm not running through there. And he moves one, two, three, four, six, and falls prone as well, along with his buddy right beside him. I'm not metagaming it, guys. I mean, the goblins would definitely do that. I mean, they're not a very intelligent creature. Alright, so that is it. Uh, back up to... Oh, actually, I am sorry. The the skeleton never attacked you. Actually, it did. He did it. I, I did. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and use that as uh, his attack. So Caladron, uh, you're back up. Uh, you can go ahead and you are unconscious, so you can give me a saving throw. And you have no strikes right now, so you can go ahead and give me a saving throw. That's just a plain 1d20, right? It is. It is a 1d20 with no bonuses unless you, you have anything. All right, nice. so nothing happens. Very nice. Uh, you are you're not stabilized, uh, but uh, you don't creep any closer to death. All right, Rons, uh, I have bought you powers. I have bought you any power of your choice, so you can you can buy what you want with it. So, what do you want back, and what are you doing? Like a healing word. Okay. And I am going to cast Smite Undead on the uh, in front of me. Oh, wait, I gotta. I'm, I'm dropping my crossbow as a free action, uh, pulling out my Warhammer with the miner. And now I'm casting Smite Undead on I think you take an attack of opportunity when you pull a weapon out. If I'm not mistaken, yeah. Let me uh, let me double check. Need a second, guys. Now, after all the games I've played, I should have this uh, memorized.
opportunity action 7890 7896 sorry guys I want to make sure I get this right um I looked at opportunity attacks it doesn't it doesn't have anything in there about pulling out or like Forty-four. That's the page that I want. Let's see. Draw or sheath a weapon. Minor action. Requires for hand. What did you use? A creature can take a sheath or a sling weapon. Sling free. Okay. See, uh, I'll look later, but uh, I'm pretty sure you do. But I'm not gonna take one this time. I mean, if you if you think that it is, that's your no. that's your call to GM. No, I'm not. No, go ahead and you can uh, go ahead and attack. You got your you got your hammer. Uh, feel free to go ahead and attack. I'll look right, later. I don't want to waste uh, too much time on it. So. Slide on dead on the skeleton Nineteen versus will. Uh, 19 versus will is a hit on the skeleton. Uh, 14 radiant damage. Alright. So it would actually be 19 because of the... Alright, you notice that as you hit him with your radiant attack, it is radiant, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, you notice that he is in a bloodied status. 19 damage is a lot. Yeah. It's my... And that was your ability. that was your daily, right? Uh, that's actually an encounter. Encounter. It's a channel divinity. So okay. I All right. I can't do another. So you got a minor. You got um, a standard. It also actually, it also actually pushes into six squares. Okay. So you're gonna push him back. I'm gonna push him. Can I push him back through that zone into the fire? Or you can, yeah, gonna, absolutely. You can. I'm gonna do that. Yeah. All right, so there you go. Uh, he has entered the zone. Uh, we'll give him five fire damage as well. Very nice. All right. And he, should be he should be prone because he went through the. Uh, oh, actually, yeah, very nice. Uh, he is also prone. Very good. I was just thinking that actually. So he gets knocked prone and gets slid back anyway. Four more squares, five more squares. So, all right. So you got a standard, standard and minor. So you have a minor left, or are you done? I have a minor left. Um, oh, nice, nice health, move with that. What's your health at, like right now? Like what's the minor? Minus six. A trap of logic. Thank you very much for the follow. <laughs> the real thick shady. That's the that's the new user of the night, guys. The follower of the night. The real thick shady. Thank you very much. Uh, welcome you two to the community. Let's get a lottery going right now. Everybody, join the lotto. So the viewers, you guys want to help the you guys want to help these guys out? It's up to you guys. 